Good morning and welcome to my channel. My name is Silvana and in today's class we will start our day with a rejuvenating sequence designed to stretch your entire body and ignite your energy. This class will awaken your mind, body and spirit and will leave you feeling refreshed and ready to conquer the day ahead. So whenever you are ready, find a quiet place, roll out your mat and let's get started. We will start today's class lying down on your mat. So you can scoop a little bit forward and then roll all the way down, coming onto your back, keeping the knees bent and then just let your knees fall outwards, bringing the soles of your feet together, creating a diamond shape with your legs. Close your eyes, take one hand onto your chest and the other hand onto your belly. Relaxing the shoulders down. And just take a moment to connect with your breath. Breathing deeply in through the nose. And exhale slowly out through the nose again. Inhale. And as you exhale, let go of any distractions. Any worries or cares. Just make a conscious a decision to dedicate this time now to yourself, your health and your well-being. This is your time. Taking one more deep breath in and exhale out. Without opening your eyes, start to let your head fall from side to side as if you are saying no. Keep on breathing deeply in and out through the nose and just feel the movement of the head releasing any tension from your neck. Don't force the movement, just let gravity pull the head from side to side and become aware of all the meeting points between the back of your head and the mat. Slowly coming to a stop again Gaze up to the ceiling, inhale and exhale, bring your knees together and hug the knees into the chest. Maybe rocking a little bit from side to side, massaging the spine. Coming to a stop again, let go of the legs, bringing the feet onto the mat, feet hip width apart. Get hold of your opposite elbows and then let your arms fall over the head so your arms are framing your head. Inhale here. Exhale, let both knees fall over to your left side, finding a little bit of a spinal twist. Don't worry how far the knees fall down, just let gravity pull down the legs. Let the legs be heavy. Relax the shoulders and breathe into that stretch through your right side body. Close your eyes. Inhale. And exhale out. Inhale, lifting the knees back up. And exhale, let the legs fall onto the other side. Again, let gravity pull down the knees. Breathe into your left side body. Keeping the shoulders relaxed. Inhale. And exhale out. On your next inhale, lifting the knees back up to the ceiling. Extend both legs. Bring your feet together. Interlock the fingers. Palms up and reach the arms over the head for a morning stretch. Engage all the muscles. Make yourself very long. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And release. Bringing the arms back by your side. Bend both knees again. Feet together. And then bring the right knee towards the chest. Interlocking the fingers on the shin bone. Rotate your right ankle. First to one side. And then to the other side, releasing any tension from the foot. Coming to a stop again. 
Extend the right leg up to the ceiling and interlock your fingers behind the hamstring or calf muscle and flex the right foot. Option to keep the right knee a little bit bent if your hamstring is tight. Inhale creating length, kicking the heel up high. Exhale gently pull the leg a little bit closer to the chest. One more breath here. And then release, bringing the right ankle to the left knee. Let the right knee fall outwards, figure four stretch. Lift the left foot off of the mat, stretch the right arm between the legs and interlock the fingers either on your left shin bone or behind the left knee and pull the knee towards the chest. Head relaxed. Feel the deep stretch in your outer right hip. Close your eyes. Breathing deeply in and out. Try to let go of any luggage or tension. Pressing the lower back down. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Feel the spine flat on the mat. One more breath here. And release. Left foot down, right foot down. Extend both legs for a moment. Just shaking out the legs. Center yourself. And then bend both knees again, bringing the left knee to the chest, interlock the fingers and rotate your left ankle, first to one side and then to the other side. Coming to a stop again, extend the left leg up to the ceiling and interlock your fingers behind your hamstring or calf muscle, flexing the left foot. Kicking the heel up high, stretching out all those muscles in the back of the leg and try to keep your lower back down to the mat. Inhale, create a little bit more length, exhale, stretch a little bit more and release again. Bend the knee, left ankle to your right knee, figure four stretch, lifting the right foot. Left arm threads between the legs and interlock your fingers on your right shin bone or behind the right knee and pull the knee towards the chest. Relaxing the head down. Try to relax your shoulders. Breathe into that stretch in your outer left hip. Inhale. And exhale. Try to let it all go. One more breath. And release, right foot down, left foot down. Extend both legs again, bringing the feet together. Morning stretch one more time, interlock your fingers, palms up, reach the arms over the head, engage all the muscles, make yourself very long. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And release, bringing the arms back by your side. Bend both knees, lift the feet off of the mat, get hold of the back of your knees and from here rock and roll yourself up to seated on the mat. Extend both legs out in front of you and bend the right knee, taking the right foot over your left leg for a seated spinal twist. Maybe bend the lower leg, bringing the left foot to the right hip. Left elbow over your right knee. And take the right hand behind your back, gaze over your right shoulder, seated spinal twist. Close your eyes, feel the spine long and imagine this invisible line lifting you from the top of the head up towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale out. Keep on hugging the knee towards the chest. Relax the face, keep the mind inwards and just observe any sensations within your body. Taking one more breath here and release, untwist. Shift the weight to the left side, extend the left leg and take the right foot back on the inside. Let your right knee fall outwards, the sole of the foot to your left inner thigh. Inhale, reach both arms up over the head, flex the left foot and exhale, fold over your left leg for a seated one-legged forward fold. 
either getting hold of your foot ankle or the shin bone. Stretch the spine forward. Inhale, feel the crown of the head reaching towards the toes. Exhale, try to hinge a little bit further forward, bringing the belly to the thigh. One more deep breath here. Inhale, roll back up, reach the arms up over the head. Exit, twist again to your right side, right hand behind the back, left hand on the right knee, gaze over your right shoulder and we find stargazer from here, point the left toes, push the hips up so the right shin bone comes onto the mat, left arm by your ear, open up the chest, let the head drop back, keep on pushing the hips forward, one more inhale. And exhale, release back down. Shift the weight over to your right side and swing your left leg back for Pigeon Pose. Extending the left leg, the right knee stays bent, right shin bone on the mat and the hips are square. Inhale, exhale, Sleeping Pigeon, let your upper body fold forward, create a pillow with your hands or rest the forehead on your mat and make sure the hips are still square facing downwards. Feel a nice stretch in your outer right hip. Close your eyes, breathing deeply in and out. With every exhale, try to let go of any lockage or tension. Let it right hip release a little bit further down towards the mat. Relax the face and facial muscles. Inhale. Exhale, let the hips become heavy. Taking two more deep breaths here. And one more breath. Slowly release, lift the upper body, walk the hands towards you. Bend the left knee, right hand in the center of the mat and reach back with your left hand. Get hold of your left foot. Maybe drape the fingers over the toes. Pull the heel closer to the buttocks and square the chest so you gaze to the front of your mat. Bringing the left shoulder a bit further forward. Bring the heel a little closer to the glute, stretching out your thigh. One more breath here. And release, extend the left leg again. Shift the weight back to your right side and swing the left leg forward. Keeping the right shin bone on the mat, left foot on the mat. Get hold of your foot with both hands. Shift the weight back, extend the left leg, kicking into your hand. Engage the core, keep the spine long, relax the shoulders, stretching out that hamstring and keep on pulling the left thigh towards the chest. One more breath and release. Stack your left shin bone on top of your right shin bone for a half lotus, either placing the left foot on your right inner thigh or the knee grease and gently press the left knee a little bit further down, opening up the hip joint. You can either stay here or maybe let your upper body fold forward, walking the hands out in front of you, maybe bringing the forearms down, maybe even bringing the forehead down to the mat. Just make sure the sitting bones stay grounded. Close your eyes and breathing deeply into that stretch. You want to feel a nice deep stretch through the hips, but if you feel any pain in your ankle or knees, lift yourself a little bit higher up or adjust the position of your legs. Relax the face. Inhale. And exhale out. Release. Rolling the spine back up. And then extend both legs out in front of you. Shaking out the legs a little bit. And then bend the left knee. Take the left foot over your right leg and maybe fold the lower leg, bringing the right heel to the left hip for your seated spinal twist. Right elbow comes over your left knee, 
twist to the left side, left hand behind the back, gaze over your left shoulder. Close your eyes, feel the spine long, hugging the knee to the chest, maybe walk the left hand a little bit further across the back for a deeper twist. Relax all facial muscles, inhale and exhale up. Taking two more deep breaths here and one more breath. Release, gaze to the front of your mat, shift the weight to your right side and extend the right leg out in front of you so we find our one-legged forward fold. Left foot back to the inside and let the knee fall outward. Make sure the hips are still facing forward. Reach both arms up, inhale, create length, flex the right foot and exhale, fold over your right leg, getting hold of your foot, ankle or shin bone. Relax the head gaze down. Make sure you're hinging forward from your hips and don't put any tension on your lower back. If you feel your lower back tight, keep the knee a little bit bent. Inhale, creating a little bit more length in the spine. Exhale, maybe hinge a little bit further forward. Square the chest towards the mat. Inhale. And exhale out. Release. Slowly roll the spine back up. Reach your arms up. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the left side. Left hand behind the back. Right hand on the left knee, gaze over your left shoulder. Let's find Stargazer here once again. Point the right toes, lift the hips, left knee on the mat and reach the right arm by your ear. Gaze up to the ceiling, keep on pushing the hips up and forward. Breathing into your right side body, one more inhale. Exhale, release, lower the hips back down. Shift the weight to your left side and we extend the right leg back behind us. So make sure the left shin bone is still on the mat and square the hips for pigeon pose. The left knee can point forward or outwards. Inhale. Exhale, let your upper body fold forward for sleeping pigeon. Resting the forehead on the mat or you can create a pillow with your hands and feel the deep stretch in your outer left hip. Inhale and exhale out. Let the hip sink further down towards the mat. Relax the face. Relax the shoulders. Use the breath to stay connected. If thoughts or distractions arise, Simply acknowledge them and let them go, like clouds floating in the sky. Taking one more breath here. And slowly release again, lift the head, walk the hands back towards you. Left hand in the center of your mat, bend the right knee, reach back with your right hand, getting hold of your foot or toes and pull the heel closer towards the buttocks. Gaze to the front of your mat, square the chest, press the right shoulder a bit further forward. Let the hip sink further down. One more breath, pulling the heel a little closer and then release, extend the right leg, shift the weight to your left side, swing the right leg forward, keeping the left shin bone on the mat and get hold of your foot with both hands. Shift the weight back and kick into your hands, extending the right leg up. Pull the knee towards the chest, engage the core, spine long. Relax the shoulders down. Very good. One more breath. Kick into the hands. 
and release. Bend the right knee and we find our half lotus stacking the shin bones on top of each other. Pressing the right knee a little bit further down. Opening up the hip joint. You can always choose to stay here or maybe take the hands out in front. Maybe walk the hands forward, let your upper body fold over the legs. Relax the head. No matter where you are, just stay and breathe deeply into that hip opener. With every exhale, just let go of any tension. Head relaxed, relax the face. Make sure the sitting bones stay grounded. One more breath and we release again. Walk the hands back towards your spine long. Extend the legs out in front of you again, giving them a little shake. Let's come onto our hands and knees into a tabletop position. You can come a little bit further back to the end of the mat to have some space in front of you. Placing the hands underneath your shoulders and your knees are hip width apart. Let's start with our cat and cow. Inhale, arch through the back, gaze up to the ceiling, draw the shoulders back. And as you exhale, tuck your tailbone under, draw the belly button in, chin to chest. Inhale again as you open the chest, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, round through the spine. Feel the stretch in your upper back. Let's keep on going two more breaths like this, moving at your own pace. Connecting the movement with your breath. Become aware of the movement of your spine. Let's take one more deep breath like this. And after your next exhale, coming back to neutral spine, breathing normally. Let's find our puppy pose. Keep your hips in line with your knees. Reach both arms in front of you and either place your forehead or the chin onto the mat, opening up the chest towards the mat. Keep on breathing deeply in and out, making sure the hips are still in line with your knees and reach the fingertips out in front, creating length in the side body. Inhale and exhale out. Release. Lift the head, let the hips come all the way forward and down and find your sphinx pose. Keep the chest lifted. Place the elbows underneath your shoulders, hands, elbows and shoulders in one line and press the shoulders down and away from your ears. Squeeze the buttocks. One more breath here. And then release the chin down onto the mat. Place the hands next to the chest, elbows pointing back. Inhale, press through the hands, lift the head and chest. Cobra pose, gaze up. Exhale, bend the knees, press the hips back, child pose. Taking a couple of deep breaths here. Let the hips sink to the heel. One more breath. And then round through the spine, lift the hips, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Take a moment here and just walk it out, bending one knee at a time as if you're walking on the spot, pedaling the heels a bit further down, warming up the legs. Eventually find your full downward dog, hands shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart, tailbone pointing up high. Shift the weight to your right foot, lift the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Inhale, keep the hips square. 
Exe bent the left knee, pull the knee forward to the chest and step the foot in between your hands. Low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up over the head. And exhale, push the hips further forward and down. Feel the stretch in your right hip extender. Inhale. Exhale, release the arms, interlock the fingers behind the back. And then inhale, open the chest, leaning back from the upper back, gaze up to the ceiling. Draw the shoulders back while you're still pushing the hips forward. One more inhale. Exhale, release, bringing the fingertips next to the left foot. Tuck the back toes, lift the back knee and then step your right leg forward into a standing forward fold. Feet next to each other, head relaxed, keep the knees a little bit bent if you need to, relax the upper body forward. One more breath here, bend the knees, push the knees forward, roll yourself up one vertebra at a time, roll your shoulders back, inhale arms up over the head, backward bend, gaze up, exhale dive all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift, creating a flat back. Exhale, fold over the legs, bend the knees and step your right leg back, warrior one. Toes in a 45 degree ankle outwards. Inhale, reach your arms up over the head. Exhale, square the hips, square the chest towards the front of your mat. Keep on pressing the outer arch of the right foot down. One more inhale. Exhale, release the arms, interlock the fingers behind your back. Inhale, lean back, open the chest. Exhale, fold over the left leg, bringing the left shoulder to the left knee. Reach the arms over the head, feel the stretch in your shoulders. Keep on squaring the hips. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands down. Step the right leg a bit further back, lift the heel to your lunge. And then inhale, lift the left arm up to the ceiling, simple twist. Gaze up to the left hand. Open the chest, inhale, reach up high. Exhale, release the left hand down. Step your left leg back, plank pose. Shoulders over the wrist, strong core. Inhale. Exhale, release the knees. Arch through the back, chest and chin down, eight links pose. Inhale, press through the hands, lower the hips, cobra pose. Lift the head and chest, gaze up, draw the shoulders back. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees, stretch back, child pose. And let the hips sink all the way back to the heels, resting the forehead on the mat. Breathing deeply into the belly, creating length in the spine. Re-energize the body with your breath. One more deep breath here. And then lift the head round through the spine. Tuck the toes, lifting the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Now shift the weight into your left leg and lift the right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Driving the heel up high, keep the hips square. Inhale, bend your right knee and then exhale, pull the knee forward to the chest, step the foot in between your hands, low lunge. Inhale, reach your arms up over the head. Exhale, let the hips sink a little bit further forward and down. Keeping the shoulders over the hips, reach through the fingertips, long spine. Inhale. And exhale, release the arms. Interlock the fingers behind your back. Inhale, open the chest, draw the shoulder blades back, gaze up. Keep on pushing the hips forward, opening up the heart. One more inhale. And exhale, release. Bring the fingertips next to your right foot. Tuck the back toes. Lift the back knee. And step your left leg forward into a standing forward fold. Finding a deep fold here. Get hold of the back of the legs or your ankles. 
pull the upper body a little bit further forward. Keep the head relaxed. One more breath here. Feel the stretch in the back of your legs. And then let go of the legs and one vertebra at a time. Roll yourself up to standing. Shoulders back. Inhale, reach your arms up over the head. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half a lift, flat back. Exhale, fold over the legs. Bend the knees and step your left leg back into warrior one. Inhale as you reach the arms up. Exhale, bending deeply into that front knee and pressing the outer arch of the left foot down into the mat. Squaring the hips, squaring the chest. Maybe find a little backward bend. Gaze upwards. One more inhale. Exhale, release the arms. Interlock the fingers behind your back. Inhale, open the chest, gaze up. Exhale, fold over your right leg and bring the right shoulder to your right knee. Relax the head and reach the arms up over the head towards the ceiling. Feel the stretch in your shoulders. Keep on squaring the hips here. Strong legs. Inhale. And exhale out. Release. Bringing the hands back down onto the mat. Step the left foot a little bit further back. Keeping the heel lifted. Inhale, reach your right arm up, simple twist, gaze up towards the ceiling. Rotate the chest, reaching up high. Gaze up, one more inhale. Exhale, release the right hand back down and take your right leg back into your plank pose. Shoulders over the wrists, squeeze the buttocks, core engaged. Inhale. And exhale, release the knees, arch through the back, chest and chin down, eight links pose. Try to keep the hips lifted. Slowly release the hips, press through the hands, inhale, lift the head and the chest, finding cobra pose. Let the head drop back, draw the shoulder blades back. Open the chest, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees and let the hips sink back into your child pose. Rest the forehead on the mat and just take a moment to deeply breathe into the belly, into the chest. Bring the arms by your side to release the shoulders in embryo pose and take a few more deep breaths here. Let's take two more breaths. And one more deep breath here. Slowly lift your head, roll the spine up to seated and then take the legs out in front of you. Finding a seat on the mat and scoop forward so that you have space behind you. Bring the feet hip width apart and then take the hands behind your knees, holding onto the back of the knees, seated cat and cow. As you inhale, open the chest, arch through the back, gaze up. And as you exhale, hunch, tuck the tailbone under, belly in, lean back, gaze down to the navel. Inhale again as you open the chest, gaze up. Exhale as you round through the spine, tailbone tucked under, belly in. Let's take two more breaths like this. Moving at your own pace with your breath. Try to connect the movement with your breath. One more inhale, open the chest. Exhale round through the spine and then slowly let go of your knees and one vertebra at a time. Roll all the way down to lying on the mat. Hug the knees into the chest. And rock a bit from side to side, massaging the spine. Relaxing the head back. One more breath. 
And then coming to a stop again, let your knees fall outwards and find happy baby pose. Getting hold of the outer arch of your feet or your big toes, pull the knees to the armpits and let your feet fall out wide. If it feels okay on your back, you can rock a little bit from side to side. Pressing the lower back down, feel the hips opening. Coming to a stop again, let go of your feet and take your legs into a tabletop position, both arms shoulder width away from your body and palms facing up. Inhale, exhale, let both legs fall over to your left side, stacking the hips on top of each other, finding a spinal twist. Gaze over your right shoulder and take your left hand onto your legs to add a little bit of extra weight. Close your eyes and let yourself become heavy. Inhale and exhale out. Surrender to the ground underneath you. Taking another two deep breaths here. And one more breath. Slowly release, gaze up towards the ceiling and take your left arm shoulder width away. Inhale, lift both legs up to tabletop and as you exhale, let both legs fall over towards the right side. Gaze over your left shoulder, right hand on the legs for some extra grounding. Let the shoulder blades melt down, close your eyes. Let yourself become heavy. Try to keep the mind inwards. Observe any sensations within your body. Inhale and exhale out. Taking one more deep breath here and release, gaze up to the ceiling, both arms shoulder width away, inhale lift the legs back up to tabletop, exhale release both feet down onto your mat and let you both knees fall outwards creating a diamond shape with your legs again, soles of the feet together. Place the hands onto your upper thighs. And then press the hands into your thighs as if you want to separate the legs from the upper body. Feel a nice stretch through the chest. Slowly release again. Get hold of your opposite elbows and let your arms fall over the head so the arms are framing your head. Feel a stretch in the shoulders. Close your eyes. Feel the hips opening up as gravity is pulling down the knees. Notice if this pose feels any different now than it was in the beginning of the practice. Maybe your hips feel a little bit more loose and supple. Feel the breath traveling through the body. Inhale. And exhale out. Slowly release, open your eyes, bring your knees together and one by one extend the legs all the way out, feet together. Interlock your fingers, palms up, reach the arms over the head and give yourself a stretch as if you just woke up. Reach the arms up, toes down, stretch, stretch, stretch and release. Coming into the last pose, let's find our Shavasana. Let your toes fall outwards and take the arms a little bit away from your body, palms face up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes. Return to your deep yoga breath. Breathing deeply in through the nose. And exhale slowly out. Let the effects of today's practice soak into your body. Inhale. 
and exhale out. Visualize yourself becoming as light as a feather floating in the sky. And with each breath, allow that feeling of peace and harmony overcome you. Starting from the crown of your head all the way down to your toes. Inhale and exhale out. If thoughts or distractions arise, simply acknowledge them and let them go, like clouds floating in the sky. Feel the energy going through your body. Enjoy the stillness that surrounds you. Simply be with yourself. Slowly start to deepen your breath. Embrace the day. Feel the energy going through your body. Feeling refreshed, rebalanced and peaceful. Prepare to release your Shavasana and start to introduce some small movements back into your body. Wiggling the fingers, toes, letting the head fall from side to side and start stretching yourself a little bit. Whenever you are sure that you are awake, you can roll onto your side first. Give your body a moment to readjust. Keeping the eyes closed. And then slowly coming up to being seated cross-legged on the mat. Again, take your time here, no rush. Placing the hands onto your knees. Close your eyes. Enjoy a few more moments of silence. And then slowly open your eyes again. Inhale, reach your arms up over the head. Interlock your fingers, palms up. And give yourself a little side stretch. First to one side. And then to the other side. Back to the center. Release the arms, warming up the palms. Close your eyes. And then place the palms in front of your closed eyes. And slowly open the eyes into your palms. 
and release the hand. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. I hope you enjoyed the class. If so, please leave me a comment down below, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos about yoga and pilates. I hope to see you next time. Namaste.